Hi everyone, it's Liam here from A Shot of Wildlife and in this video I'm going to tell you almost everything you need to know about the coot. Coots are a common sight on ponds, lakes and rivers around the UK. They're also found throughout mainland Europe, Asia, Australia and New Zealand and even some parts of Northern Africa. From a distance, their most noticeable features are their almost jet black plumage and striking white beak which runs up to a white bulge across their foreheads. This is known as a frontal plate or frontal shield and this is where the term bald as a coot comes from. I'll get onto the purpose of this later in the video. If you get a closer view of a coot, you may also notice their two, or I guess four, other unusual features. Adult coots have dark red eyes and instead of having webbed feet or unwebbed feet, theirs are somewhere in between. They have fleshy lobes of skin coming from the insides of their toes which helps them to create more propulsion when paddling, but also less resistance from the water when dragging their feet behind them. Coots are slightly larger than their cousin the moorhen and have a wingspan of around 75 centimeters and can grow to weigh up to 800 grams. With their skin feathered toes, coots are great swimmers and use this to their advantage when searching for food. They dive beneath the surface and find small fish, aquatic invertebrates and vegetation to feed upon. Spending their lives on or under the water can give the coots protection from some predators and an abundant source of food, but it also creates an issue when it comes to nesting and laying eggs. To solve this, they either build a platform up out of the water in the shallows or attach their nest to living vegetation so that it floats above the water's surface. They begin the construction of this from February to late March when a pair will form and start to become very territorial towards other coots and sometimes towards other species of bird. When their nest is complete and any rivals or incursions are prevented, the female will begin to lay five to seven lightly speckled olive colored eggs that measure around 53 millimeters in length. One egg is laid per day and incubation starts after the second egg is laid. This takes three weeks and it means that the chicks hatch out at daily intervals. When they do first emerge, coot chicks are very different in appearance to their parents. They have dark red bases to their beaks, bald heads and fiery orange strands emerging from their otherwise grey to black fluff. It's thought that these brighter markings can demonstrate to the adults how healthy a chick is and if food becomes scarce in the first few days after hatching, the parents may choose to stop feeding or sometimes even kill the weaker chicks. After a week or two, the male and female split the brood and take on full parental duties for only their half of the chicks. Five to six weeks later and they are well grown, capable of flying and fully independent. Coots will usually only nest once per year if they are successful at rearing their chicks, but if their nest fails they can attempt a second or even third batch of eggs. Earlier in this video I mentioned the coot's frontal shield and promised I would explain its purpose, so here goes. Scientists believe that the shape of the plate can be used by the birds to identify their mates and the intruders, but it also serves to protect them during fighting and as a display to other coots for how healthy and how old an individual is. The older and healthier birds have larger and sometimes whiter plates. In the UK, coots don't migrate in the winter, but this isn't the case across the globe. In Eastern Europe and Northern Asia, they are migratory and will move southwards to avoid the worst of the cold weather. There are currently around 31,000 pairs of these birds in the country, and although their average lifespan is five years, the oldest bird on record was 15 years, three months, and 13 days old when it died in 1978. Well, there we go. If you enjoyed that video, you'll probably also like this British wildlife video. And if you enjoy that as well, then subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.